Good evening. Good to have you with us in this edition of uh, News here on Big Story. And Mira now, I'm Tanvi Shukla. Straight up to the big developing story. Farmers groups have called for a nationwide bunt tomorrow after several rounds of talks between farmers and centre over the new farm laws uh, failed. Now, Bharat Bandh will be observed from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., during which all shops and mandis are supposed to be shut, impacting the delivery of essential commodities like milk, fruits and vegetables. As many as 18 political parties have extended support towards farmers' Bharat Bandh call, to which the centre has issued now a countrywide advisory asking all states to tighten security and ensure COVID protocols are followed. Meanwhile, maximum impact of Bharat Band is expected to be witnessed in Delhi NCR, Punjab, which are of course the epicenter of these farmers' protests. So the transport services like cabs, including taxis, Ola and Uber services will remain shut in the national capital tomorrow. Metro services, however, will be open similarly in Punjab. Hotels, restaurants, bars and resort will remain shut. While marriage halls have been exempted from the band, which means that they will remain open. So NCR and Punjab are the ones that are likely to see a bigger impact. In Karnataka, buses, restaurants, hotels, commercial establishments will continue to function. Let's in fact go across to some of our reporters on ground. Mayuresh is joining us from Mumbai, Shrija from Karnataka. Shrija, so as far as Karnataka is concerned, we are given to understand not too much impact is expected, at least in the big cities. Uh, give us the details of what various associations are saying. Well, Tanvi, in fact, a couple of days ago when Karnataka, the pro-Kanada organizations had called for a bund, the Karnataka bund, we just saw, saw how it was a lukewarm uh, response coming in. This was also, in fact, uh, in support of the farmers. So it is likely to be seen in whether or not, uh, you know, uh, the entire Karnataka, as far as where the rest of the states are in support of the other farmers, whether or not it's going to be uh, completely shut off or not. But what we're hearing from the Karnataka government as far as the transport services are concerned like the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation and including Bengaluru City's uh, Road Transport Corporation. Now they will continue their services uninterrupted which means the public will not have to face any sort of uh, issues only because of the bund which has been called uh, by several of the unions here in Karnataka. Apart from that what we understand including the auto uh, associations, the auto drivers union and also Ola and Taxi uh, Union, they have also extended their support to the bund but however they go on to tell us that we will not cause any inconvenience to the uh, people, the citizens of the state and hence it is left up to the discretion of uh, the drivers whether or not they want to fly on the roads. So clearly we are not uh, looking at a complete uh, shutdown as far as Karnataka is concerned but uh, uh, we're also talking about the shopping malls and the associations. Now they have also uh, confirmed to us right now they haven't really uh, taken a complete decision whether or not to shut off but however they are extending the support and uh, restaurants and hotels also they also continue to tell us uh, that they will also support uh, the farmers but however will not shut down the services which they are uh, with which they will be offering to their customers all right uh, so that's as far as uh, you know Karnataka is concerned many of them extending their support but were not willing to shut down their own services Mayuresh what about you know Maharashtra and cities like Mumbai uh, especially on the transport front Absolutely, Tanvi. If you talk about a city like Mumbai and especially the transport front, uh, the BST uh, it will be plying. They have said that uh, BST will not be participating in this kind of burn and never BFC, BST we have seen uh, participated in this kind of burn. Uh, when we spoke with the BST officials, they said that they will be uh, 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 basically they will be arranging the nets as well as a few gears uh, for the BST buses so that if something uh, like uh, if the situation goes out of the hand and if something like a riot-like situation happens, then BST buses will be saved, but BST will be applying. Uh, same with the auto and taxi because uh, the auto taxi unions uh, have clearly said that they have not called for any bund or they are not even uh, asked their uh, 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 members to participate. So Mumbai, uh, in the, on the transport part, uh, Mumbai will not be having any kind of issue or not, will not be facing any kind of issue because the Kali Pili, the autos, uh, the BST buses, even the railways will be applying. Uh, also uh, the AHAR. 
which uh, the organization basically or we can say umbrella organization of uh, hotel uh, restaurant and uh, resort uh, uh, owners they have also not called for any bond or they have also not uh, extended their support so in a city like mumbai uh, 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 restaurants uh, as, as well as hotels will also remain open uh, then we, when we had word with the farmer leaders or the uh, farmers association basically they are saying that we are targeting the rural areas especially uh, the nasik uh, especially the uh, washi market that is apmc market will remain closed uh, and also apmc markets across maharashtra will remain closed and also the market yard of pune because these are the main points of where they are going to conduct uh, this protest in a large number and they are going to uh, shut these uh, places in a large number so uh, the more focus will be uh, in the rural uh, part we can say and not in the metro cities or not in the uh, small town uh, like in, uh, uh, like in mumbai or nearby uh, cities like mumbai all right so the that's as far as mumbai is concerned uh, and and so big impact not expected at least in cities like bengaluru and mumbai uh, what remains to be seen is the impact we see in the national capital that's been the epicenter of the protest shrija and mayuresh thanks so much for joining us we've got some more breaking news coming in